I'm going to show you how you can take a common USB-C charger and turn it into a full-featured benchtop power supply. The secret is this amazing little product, the Sentilab Pocket PD USB-C power supply. Now I'm guessing you may have detected a bit of hyperbole in my statement, and what I'm saying is true. Our modern digital devices, such as phones, pads, and notebook computers, all have evolved to the point of requiring more and more power, and consumers want their devices to charge quickly and efficiently. This has caused the lowly USB power block to incorporate some pretty cool features that can be exploited by electronics tinkerers and hobbyists. Now I'm going to show you how uh, a cool feature called PPS works and how the Sentilab Pocket PD harnesses it and how radio and electronic hobbyists and hams can put it to use. Now, modern USB-C power supplies have evolved to provide power necessary for today's digital devices. The current standard labeled USB-C PD or, POC or power delivery can offer a variety of voltages and currents levels to their devices. The digital device will pick a voltage that offers the fastest and most efficient charge rate. Not only does this help charge your device faster, but in offloading the charging voltage management uh, for, to the power supply itself, it keeps the device cooler. A step beyond USB-C PD is a feature called PPS or Programmable Power Supply. The Power PD standard has a set of voltage and current rates that the device can pick. But with PPS, the device can request any current or voltage from the power supply. Unlike the original power delivery standard, you're not limited to set voltages uh, or, or tiers like 5 volts, 9 volts, 15 volts, or 20 volts. You can set your device request to the exact voltage it wants right from the charger. And that's where the Sentilab Pocket PD shines. Pocket PD is a USB Type-C benchtop power supply that fits into your pocket. Paired with a modern USB Type-C charger or power bank, it is full-featured power supply that can provide a wide range of voltages with a built-in safety. It is equipped with an OLED uh, display, current sensor, and a banana jacks or um, Anderson power poles for power output. In full disclosure, Sentilab did send me a Pocket PD device for testing in exchange for a review, but my opinions are my own without any outside influence. So how does it work? Well, when it's combined with a modern USB-C power brick, it will use the PPS or programmable power supply feature to deliver the selected voltage and current to the output jacks. Depending on your power brick, you can pick any voltage range from 3.3 to 21 volts and a current up to 5 amps. The Pocket PD is constructed out of durable 3D printed outer case, features an OLED display on its front, on the sides is an orange selector knob, and a USB-C power input port. On the other side are banana plugs and Anderson power poles for power output. On the back is a magnet to, to stick the device to a metal surface. Using a USB-C cable, plug the Pocket PD into a PPS compliant power brick. You'll be greeted with a welcome screen and a menu of different voltage levels. You will see the multiple set voltages that USB-C PD delivers, and then at the bottom of the list is an option called PPS. This is the programmable power supply mode that makes the Pocket PD shine. Turn the orange knob to select the PPS mode. Press the knob inward to activate that mode. You'll see the voltage and the current options on the screen. Uh, turn the selector knob to change the voltage. Uh, pressing the knob inwards switches between a coarse and a fine selector rate. To switch the current levels, uh, press the left top button. This toggles between voltage and current. You can select any current amount the power supply offers in 50 milliamp steps. Once the voltage and the current are selected, press the right button. You'll see an arrow on the screen indicating that the output ports are supplying power. To change the display to show output statistics, long press the right button. To turn off the output power, short press the right button. To go back to the PD mode options, long press the left button. That's pretty much everything the Pocket PD does. So what's cool about the Pocket PD is that it stays cool. Uh, the block is nothing more than a controller. There aren't any uh, buck circuitries, voltage cons 
con um, conversions, transformers, or anything inside it. All of that is in the power supply, and the Pocket PD is just leveraging the capabilities of that power brick. For hobbyists and ham radio operators, the Pocket PD can be an invaluable tool. This device can replace a workbench power supply for electronics projects. Uh, you can use it to charge lithium iron, iron phosphate batteries. You can even power a QRP transceiver with uh, wall power or from a compatible battery pack. So how do you get one? Well, currently the Pocket PD is being crowdfunded over on Crowd Supply. The window is still open and you can invest in a unit now with delivery in January. But you will need to act fast as pre-orders will only be taken until November 6, 2025. If you're watching this video after that date, um, I'm sure that another production run of the Pocket PD will be announced. So what do I think about Labs Pocket PD? Well, the Pocket PD is a really cool tool. It's small, it's convenient. It unlocks a whole lot of capability from today's power chargers. Uh, who know all those power delivery features were built into those little power bricks. And it took a bit of inventive thinking to come up with a controller that could be able to leverage them. Now, like I mentioned, you can use this to charge a small lithium uh, iron phosphate batteries. If you think about it, with an appropriate power brick, you could, char you could charge them in the field. As for a downside, this really isn't a problem with the Pocket PD, but more with the, uh, the little power blocks themselves. You need a charger that has the PPS feature built into it. And not every model is fully implemented that specification. When I first started using the Pocket PD, I plugged in a couple of the bricks that I had and uh, the PPS option did not come onto the screen. While the charger had several USB-C uh, PD modes, it did not fully specify PPS. Um, on other bricks, the PPS option was limited to about 12 or 13 volts and was, did not, was not able to provide the full 21 volts of the specification. So if you're planning to use the Pocket PD, you're going to need to do a little bit of research uh, so that you're, you find a compatible charger. Uh, what you'll want to look for is a charger with USB-C PD version 3 or 3.1 and PPS with a specified voltage range of 3.3 to 21 volts. This may require some close reading of the box or of the unit itself on, on the back of the device to see what its power output specifications are. I'll put a few links of compatible power uh, chargers in down in the video description below so you can you can find one that works well with the Pocket PD device. But other than that, I found this to be a really cool tool and versatile tool and, inex and an inexpensive way to put a bench top power supply on your desk for a small amount of money. So what do you think of Labs uh, Pocket PD bench power supply? Well, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, thanks Sentilab for sending me the device to test and review and uh, the share with the ham radio community. Uh, links to this device can be found down in the, uh, the video description below, so check that out. For more videos like this, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day in 73.